This tutorial will walk you through how to use CodeMonkey lessons. This feature will help you to easily conduct your coding classes from the classroom dashboard, since it breaks down each lesson plan, remembers which lesson you left off of, and limits the content students can access during class time to what you are currently teaching. To begin, click on the classroom that you would like to use CodeMonkey lessons with. On the classroom dashboard page, click on the Lessons tab. Here you will find everything you need while teaching a lesson. On the right side of the page is the Courses selection, where you can choose the lesson you would like to teach. Currently, CodeMonkey Lessons is only available for Coding Adventure Parts 1, 2, and 3. As you scroll down, you will find the name of the course you chose and the corresponding lesson plans. The lesson you are currently teaching will be marked in brown. On the right side, underneath Gordo, you can click to view the lesson plan for the lesson you are teaching. We highly recommend reviewing the lessons before class time so you are familiar with the content. In the shortcuts menu on the right side, you will find helpful tools such as links to the challenges relevant for this lesson plan, informative files, and the lesson status. To your left, you will see three sections, introduction, playtime, and debrief. These sections correspond with how each lesson plan is broken up content, and time-wise. Each lesson is in total 45 minutes long. In most of the lessons, you will see walkthroughs, which are parts in the lesson where the teacher goes over specific challenges with the class. For easy navigation, we provide links to the challenges that each walkthrough covers. Now, let's start the lesson by clicking on Begin Lesson. You will be reminded that while your class is in lesson mode, students will not be able to access any CodeMonkey activities. Here is how student screens will look during lesson mode. As you can see, all activities will be locked for them. During lesson mode, you will see a yellow bar on the top of your screen. You can click on the classroom dashboard to return to the lessons tab. At this point, you can conduct your introduction using the lesson plan. When you are ready for playtime, click on Assign Challenges. This will enable your students to play the challenges relevant to the lesson. In case a student completes playtime early, they can always play skill mode challenges. Your students will need to refresh their pages to gain access to the playtime challenges. Once students complete the challenges and playtime is over, click on End Playtime and students will be blocked from the challenges once again. You can then continue to the debriefing part of the lesson. Once you are finished, click on End Lesson to exit lesson mode and return students to free play. After you end the lesson, the lesson status will be marked as complete and the lesson number will be filled in green. You can always uncheck Mark Complete if you wish for the lesson to remain unmarked. Please note that in case you forget to end the lesson, the lesson will be ended automatically and marked as complete within two hours of beginning a lesson. This is to prevent students from getting blocked. However, if you wish to limit student progress so that they cannot pass the current lesson, you can do so in the Progress tab. Go to the Progress tab. Click on Limit Progress. Here you can choose Limit Progress based on last lesson taught. This means that now students who log in outside of class time will not be able to play past the last challenge in that lesson. However, they will still be able to play skill mode. Thank you for watching this tutorial on CodeMonkey Lessons.